What's up, my shining stars? I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. So, before I go into the spill, <laughs> I was just listening to trying to um, elevate my vibration. And what songs came on was Outstanding by Gap Band. Outstanding, so outstanding, baby. Girl, you knocked me out. Oh boy. Exciting. So exciting, baby. You make me want to shout. So, hold on. Then you have Can't Live Without You, Mary J. Blige. That's um, Can't Live Without You. Can't live without you, babe. Can't live without you. Doom, 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 doom. I never want to live without you, babe. I want to be a lady or a man. Your love is so amazing. So somebody is... Thinking that you're outstanding. Someone think is wanting to be your lady, want to be your man. They want to be with you. Okay? So those are two songs. Go check them out on Google. Um, those two songs. Um, outstanding is an old, you know, back in the day song. But the lyrics, that person is serious about you. So, <laughs> but let's roll on back. I had to get that out before we go forward. Because I'll forget how it go in my head. <laughs> so anyway. So. Taurus. You got me on here singing. <laughs> you got me on here singing Taurus. Alright. So anyway. Okay. So here we go. Um, with that being said. My name is Trinity. And welcome to my channel. All about the When my mom from my ride and dies, you know what? This been rocking with me from the beginning of my time. Thank you guys for all the love. This is a bonus read, all for you because all the love, all the emojis, and all the comments and emails and um encouraging words. What I do for that is I come right back and I give you more content, all right? So keep it coming, guys. Share the videos, like the videos, all right? I really appreciate you. New subscribers, thank you. I'm honored and welcome. Energy exchange, keep it coming, guys, because as you pour in this channel, I pour in this channel. I buy more, I buy more cards, more things um, to enhance and to give you better content. All right, so, all right, okay, so, with that being said, all right, so, um, oh, on the flip side, because we always have to acknowledge, on the flip side, I have to acknowledge to those people who, not giving you power, or give you acknowledgement of who you are, just to let you know that you ain't running nothing, you ain't running nothing on this channel, what you, what, what you reap, what you sow on this channel, you shall reap right? Evil eye. You're going to reap it right back to you. Hoodoo, voodoo, centuria, black magic is going to come right back to you. What you sow, what you sow to on this channel, you shall reap right back to you. Okay. 10 times, 20 times, hundred times fold right back at you. Can't stop, won't stop, ain't going to stop. Right. Sitting on my throne, looking good, smelling good, <laughs> smelling good. All right. Um, not going to stop this show. Can't, can't stop this show. Ain't going to stop, right? So with that being said, it is so, so be it in Ashe. All right. So we are honoring the sign of Taurus. Bam! There it is, Taurus. All right. So with that being said, okay. So this is a love reading. This is a bonus reading. I already said it's a bonus reading. It's a love reading because what, 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 what? Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. 
<laughs> you know what? And spirit says what? So those of you that don't like, that you don't want to hear me talk and don't want to hear what I got to say, because it ain't going to be me. Spirit has gave me a message. I'm going to give it to you and then I'm going to move into the reading. So fast forward. Don't get in the comments and talk about I'm talking too much. Just fast forward, all right? Or you're going to be blocked. All right, so here we go. Spirit is saying, Taurus, Spirit, Spirit is saying for this year, not last year. Can't speak for last year. Can't speak for the next year. But for this year, 2022, Spirit is saying that you must, in order to be able to get the blessings, the trans, trans uh, 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 for you to get the blessings, get the what you have um, tra trans, um, oh, Lord, <laughs> come on, spirit, don't let the message be like that. Come on, it's not. I want to say transmute, but I know that that's not the right word. Oh, okay, okay. So in order for you to get what you have manifested for this year, 2022, you're going to have to come in the spirit of self-love, all right? This is the perfect time. Some of you already is saying, oh, I love my, oh yeah, I'm already, I already did it, this and this and that. If you have already acknowledged that you have self, you love yourself, you, you know, and all of that. Spirit is saying that it's something in you that you have been through significantly with a counterpart because it is, we're talking about love here, a counterpart, somebody that you were with who truly deeply hurt you, that you have moved away from you have transformed you have rebuilt yourself you have um you have really really did a big transformation metamorphosis of yourself you are no longer the same spirit is saying this valentine's this year you're gonna have to come from self-love and gratitude for where you came from and that includes to be grateful for the experience that that person who truly hurt you have put you through spirit is saying that is what's holding you back because you keep holding on to that hurt and that pain and what they put you through but spirit said Spirit is saying that that person that put you through that pain, it was necessary because without that pain and that suffering, you would never be the person that you are right now, a badass. You would not be able to, you would not have been able to transcend and evolve into the beautiful, butterf the beautiful butterfly that you are. You would not be able to stand in your power, stand in your truth and all, be authentic no matter who say this or who gossip or who talk about you. You would never be able to stand in that power and know who you are and gain your strength without this person. Without this person hurting you, without this person uh, doing the things that they did to you and this person pushed you. This person pushed you. This person pushed you to a... Uh, a, a broken state a brokenness that many would not be able to recover from but you've recovered because you were determined to come out of that place I'm speaking to somebody I'm speaking to some specific people because this Valentine's Day tomorrow but this Valentine's Day, this year, you're going to have to come from a place of gratitude and honor for that person and for yourself. You did the work. 
You need to celebrate yourself. You need to honor yourself and you need to have gratitude and give yourself that self-love. And I'm not just talking about, oh, I love myself. No, I'm talking about spiritually, spiritually, really, really getting down in there and really honoring who you have become. Who you are as a person. Do you know people trying to kill you, trying to steal, trying to destroy you? But they can't. They can't touch you. All because of the all because of this past person. This past person put you through hell. But without them, you would not be the person that you are today. And also, without the without this this person doing what they did you would not be able to protect yourself and the devil the evil the evil one the one whatever you want to call it would be able to destroy you you built up who you are through this person they put you through the ringer you did the work and now you are the bad ass that can't nobody touch own it take that hurt that hurt, hurtful place, take that and let it go. You're no longer that person anymore. You don't have to hold on to that because some a new person that comes in, they can't come and talk to you because if they ain't right, they can't come talk to you. If they not right, they can't even come in your presence. You just that strong. So you don't have to hold on to that person and what they did because you're done with that. That's no longer you. The battle has already been won. These people that keep on trying to project, let them project. But the battle, the bottle, the battle has already been won. You've won the battle. They just too, they just too stubborn to understand that. They just too too stubborn. And two in their ego to let it go. So they keep doing, but you've already won. You're like in the spiritual realm. Let me, sh in the spiritual realm, you're like this. And you're like this in the spiritual realm. And people just keep, and they just keep bouncing off, bouncing off. Just keep bouncing off. You would never, ever be that strong without that person. Spirit said you need to let it go. Give gratitude, self-love to yourself and give gratitude to that person. Because without them, you will be towed up to the floor right now. People are attacking you and it's bouncing off. Bouncing off. They just keep attacking, just bouncing off. That's because... You have built up your strength. You know who you are. And you're standing in that. And it don't matter how you may feel. It don't matter what's going on around you or whatever. It's already, it's, it's, it's already been established. So Spirit said, own it. Let it go. This year is, is the year of blessings. We can't let that stuff stop us. You can't let the past come in and seep in and, and stop you. No. That's the past. It's time to let the past be the past. Those people, let them people go. And in your mind and in your heart, you've let them go. But you still got that, what they did and how they did it and how they made you feel is still there. And you're vowing in your head to never let anybody come back and do that to you. You won't have to worry about that. Nobody's going to come back and do you like that. Because you have such a... You have such a way about you that... If they either going to come correct or they ain't going to come. Because it's like what comes out of your mouth is so powerful. That people don't even want to come to you unless they come and correct. Your third eye is so powerful you can see up and down what their intentions is what 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 they want so with all of that being said i know that was lengthy but with all of that being said guys please 
Taurus, Taurus, Cross Watcher, whoever is on here. Because all of you watch. And I speak to everybody. I don't speak to just Taurus or the Cross Watcher. I speak to everybody. Everybody got a soul. Everybody got a crown. Everybody got a heart. And if it ain't right, it could be changed. So I can talk to everybody. Just click on this video. It doesn't matter. If you ain't right, you need to get right. Because this year is the year of abundance, the year of blessings, and nobody's going to stop you. Only you can stop you. Last year, we had the foolishness. This year, not so much. They still trying, but it bounces. This is what they do all day. Ritual after ritual. Moon cycle after moon cycle. This is what they do. Do you have to worry about that? No. What you need to do is get yourself clear so you can be aligned to get those blessings. All right. Let's get to the reading. All right. So, to I asked to, I asked spirit about true love. I don't want to know about woulda, coulda, shoulda, or oh, I want you back. Oh, I want to know about true love. True love, if it's your past life relationship that's getting ready to come in, your counterpart, I want to know about that. Valentine's is about unconditional love. Those people from the past don't know nothing about no unconditional love. Only thing they know is love with conditions. They want you to be able to fulfill their void and fulfill them and do something for them and make them and do this. No, I'm not talking about a love with conditions. Unconditional love. Loving someone in spite of what they, their shortcomings, what they may have, what they may not have. You know, loving them for them, seeing them for who they truly are and loving them for that. True, authentic love is what I'm, I ask spirit to show me today. Okay. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to read what come out. Okay. You got clear intentions. Clear, no, endeavor. Sorry. Clear endeavors. It could be intentions too. Clear intentions. See, what I'm, because I don't even, I, 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 Spirit is getting ready to talk because I really don't know, right, about what's, what's going on here. But Spirit is saying um, clear intentions. You have a person, a love, a true love. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know if this person, if you've met this person or not, I'm speaking to you about this could be a spiritual connection in the spiritual realm. This could be somebody that's waiting to come down to speak to you, to talk to you. This could be your higher self, but this is someone who loves you. Now, this person also could be somebody you met already but you don't know that this person is your counterpart this also can be your past person they have the same face but they are a different person some people some of your counterparts some of you your counterpart has changed very few but some of you have we can't say nobody ain't changed because that's not true some of you, some of your counterpart has changed. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. But anyway, so this is about a spirit, a, a spiritual. Uh, uh, okay. I was talking about, oh, it could very well be a, the past person. They have the same face, but they're not the same person. No one will be able, if you on this channel and you have been on this channel for a while and um, the readings have been about. Um, new people coming in, uh, new counterparts, new love. These people are true and authentic. The reason why I'm saying that and trying to be transparent is because if you are my subscriber, I keep it real. I keep it 100. You know, I'm not talking about no other reader. I'm not, that ain't, that, that ain't even my thing. I'm talking about if you are a subscriber, not everybody is healed.
but I know for a fact that I have a lot of you who have healed, have transformed uh, and renewed and rebuilt your life. And some of you are getting there. Some of you are just starting. However, it doesn't matter where you, where you are in the process. This person is still your person. This person is still waiting in the wings. This person still is meeting with meeting you in the 5D. This person is still courting you and loving you and giving you support from the 5D until they can come down and meet you in the 3D, match you in the 3D. Okay, this is your person. And it see, this is winter. Some of you are getting ready to meet your counterpart. But like I said in the beginning, Spirit gave me that message to give each and every one of the counterparts about that self-love and gratitude. You, it, when, when you, that's the last part. It's like to let go of what that person, all of that hurt and trauma that that person put you through and have gratitude for. It because it's really, it's really, it's really to be grateful for because without that, you will have never learned who you truly are. You have never been able to transform into the Phoenix Rising. You never would have been able to make it without that person. So I've already said that, but this is who you had been training for. Not that person, this person. This person is waiting on you from the 5D. They're waiting on you so they can match. This is their soul. So it's, it's, it's uh, winter because it's winter time. It's winter time. It's time for them to come and match you. But spirit is saying, you still holding on to something that that person did to you. You're holding on. You're not being grateful and being gra. You're 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 coming from a different perspective, and the perspective is, I will never let you hurt me again. I will never let you come in and treat me that way, and this and this and that. But spirit is saying that without that person. You need to be grateful because without that person, you will be, like I said, toe up to the flow up right now. The evil one, the one will be able to destroy you because you wouldn't have, be, you wouldn't be strong enough to withstand them. But this person put you through the ringer and made you strong as hell, made you strong, right? Made you tough. And so this person is waiting, male or female. It don't look at the image. Look at what's all around. That's them in the spiritual realm. They're in the spiritual realm. This is the connection that they have with you. It's very beautiful. It's like this. This is what this is what where y'all go and connect within the 5D. And look at their face. So self-assured that this is going to happen. This will happen. And this person is covering you with all of this. Um, this is no, it's no significant. It's a uh, uh, cold and and um, and and icy and and it has a whole lot of animals totems in it. But I don't think this is this is snow. I think this is a cloud. This is a cloud, but down here is snow because it's winter time down here. But I think this is a cloud because you need to see through this cloud. You need to see, see clearly an endeavor or intention. You need to make your intentions known and you need to be clear about what it is that you want. Who you want. Because in this, in this mindset you're in, you're going to get it. So if you keep harboring over that past person and keep putting your attention in the past person, you're going to get the past person. And you're going to forfeit this true, authentic love that's waiting for you. You are, you both are growing in the 5D. You're growing together. You have many talks together. 
crown the crown. Many, you have all of this going on. This person is covering you, making sure that you're safe as much as they can. It's supposed to happen now. It's winter, but let's go. This person is watching you as well. Making sure that you're safe, making sure, because they know that we are in a spiritual battle right now. Okay. This person's messages to you is, I feel you leaving me behind. Now, this is your past person. I'm not going to focus on the past person. I'm going to focus on this person here. But this is a message. You're actually moving forward. But spirit is saying, yes, you have left this person. You let go of this person. But it's something that you're you're not grateful for the experience. Who And if you think about it, why would I be grateful? But I get it because I feel the energy. It's the reason why spirit is telling you to be grateful for the experience is because any other way that you think about it, you won't be able you won't be able to move forward if you don't if you don't use gratitude to get all of that energy out and let it go it's no other way it's either self love and gratitude those are the two things that's going to help you clear all of that energy out and so you can be able to meet your match where you are this year okay but the past person is feeling that that you have let them go Okay, which we already know. Okay, so all of these messages is from your past person. But I got a message from this person. So this one is, um, my life is not as together as it seems. Okay. I hope, I hope that you can forgive, forgive me one day. So again, this is about forgiveness. This is about self-love, loving yourself. If you don't have a, a, a person in your life right now, it do, really doesn't matter because you can love yourself. If you want flowers, you want candy, buy it yourself. Spirit gave you money in your bank account. Spirit gave you a car to drive. Spirit gave you a house to live in. You have you have some type of resources. You, it's, you're not alone. So go buy whatever you want on spirit expense at, at, at his expense, right? So if you're single, take yourself out to dinner. If you want to, want to, uh, roses, send buy you some roses and have them sent to your job, have them sent to your house. This is about not about flowers and all that stuff, but I'm just saying. This is about loving yourself, appreciating yourself. You did a metamorphosis. You changed. So do something with that. Celebrate that. Give yourself the the, the gifts and um, the, you know the, the awards and clap for yourself because you did it. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of pain and the suffering. But on the flip side, the person who did it to you, you got to forgive that person. You got to forgive them. I mean, for real. Not no, oh, okay, I forgive them. No, I mean, for real, behind closed doors, forgive. That's what I'm talking about. You got to forgive all these people that's gossiping and doing black magic. You got to forgive these people. You have to forgive people. Because right now we are at war and it's not the people it is the it is the things that attach to these people it's the entities that's attached to these people that's coming for you not the actual people so you have to look at things like that but anyway we're not gonna even go deep into that that is the car came out i had to honor those cars so let's go to your person your this either this person is a spiritual connect this is a spiritual connection it's either a past life 
or just a spiritual being that is um, getting ready to join with you as your life partner. Because somewhere down the line, maybe your twin, they, they, they're not able. Maybe your soulmate, maybe not be able. So if those people are not, not able to meet you where you are, they have, God always got a ram in the bush and he always gives you the best. He don't, he don't shortchange you. Well, if that person, well, let me give her this one. No, it's going to be better than that. You're going to get better than that. That person will treat you better, going to do you better. The sex going to be better. The kisses is going to be better. Everything going to work out better and for the good of you, your higher self, to bring you up higher, to keep you high, right? So this person is saying a love note. This person is saying, babe. I love you. I want to be with you. That is this person. They want to be with you. They're ready to be with you. But it's not time yet. You have to match them. You have to match them. And we, right now, you at, we are in a spiritual war. And I keep saying that over and over again. We are in a spiritual war. The spiritual war is to keep you from getting these relationships. To keep your vibration low by projecting all this negative energy. If they can't get you, they come after your family members. If they can't get your family members, then they come after your car or your house. And they're all stuff breaking down and all that. You got to know what you're dealing with right so this person is ready to come you meet with this person they can't take this away that you guys meet you know if this person may be sending you music sending you love because you're getting so much negativity that you do have your counterpart you do meet with this person this person do cover you but they want you to be clear clear about what it is that you want so it can manifest in your lifetime this year so we got for your angel message we got a year from now right we got a year from now now this doesn't have to be literally a year from now it could be this year right it could be this year it's totally up to you. But a chance encounter, it could be a year. If you don't get that, you know, they're going to give you up to a year to get that straight. Right? It's totally up to you. It could be next week if you clear that stuff out. It's totally up to you, Taurus. Okay? But this is about spiritual love, true love. This love that I'm talking about is a love of a lifetime. A lot of people have really been trying to kill you, destroy you, hurt you, um, do things to you, so you would not be able to with you would not be able to get this love. You would not be able to experience this. A lot of people don't want you to experience this love. A lot of people trying to take that opportunity, take that experience away from you. Don't allow it. Stand up and stand be stand up and be true and authentic to who you are. Stand for your this is your love. This is your relationship. This is your life. Don't let people dictate to you what you can have in your life. You know, who you can have in your life. No. No. So you have Look at this card. It says a year from now, but look at it. Look at all the activities that's going on in that card. Right? So you got somebody that's coming. What you going to do? What you going to do? It's up to you. What you going to do? I pose you that question. What you going to do with this information? Because somebody is here. And somebody is watching you from higher up waiting to come down and be with you and i'm talking about a true authentic spiritual connection this person is going to match you where you match you and you're going to match them it ain't going to be no woulda coulda shoulda it ain't going to be i'm hurt and I, it ain't going to be none of that when you guys meet it's going it's going to be hot and popping it's going to be on because this person going to know your soul you going to know their soul and it's going to be on and nothing, these people don't want you guys to come together because it would be nothing that they can do to stop it. 
They will, they will, once these two people come together, it will be nothing that they will be, because it's two powerful people that's getting ready to build and lift up. Okay? So with that being said, that's your reading, Taurus. Hit those comments. Let a sister know how she did. Hit those emojis. Let us let me know, okay? All right? Thumbs up. Thumbs down. You already know. It helps the channel, right? Subscribe. And also, so those two songs that I sung, the, those two songs that I got in the beginning, guys, go look at the lyrics, but those songs is from this person. This person thinks that you are outstanding and you knock them out. You're beautiful. This person thinks that this person thinks that um, they can't live without you. They never want to live without you. They're waiting. Waiting. Now this person is their soul and meet you up in the spiritual realm, but they're down here in the 3D. Waiting on you. They searching. They go every day you know, waiting for you. This person is single and available and just looking for the right person. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Taurus. So, oh, okay. Share, share, share. Subscribe. Um, go to the description box. All the information is there. And social media is there as well. If you join the social media, go through the social media. Just don't join and just join. Go through the social media. It doesn't matter what date is on it, when it was. Go through the social media because it is something in there for you. It's timeless. Um, a lot of that stuff is beyond, is, it was before my time, right? <laughs> I was writing before. Writing is for times such as this. So go through that. Um, notifications hit the notification bell so you can always know what's up with the channel um okay i think that's it so i'm sending you love i'm sending you healing and trinity is out